So another group which has octet exceptions are compounds that has incomplete octet. Some of the example is BF3, elements of group 3, they have only 3 electrons and therefore group 3 hydrides and halides when they combine or the group 3 elements come when they combine with hydrogen and halogens have incomplete octet. Let's go further and uh, explore into it. Just like we had extended octet, we have incomplete octet also. Let's consider examples of group 3 hydrides and halides. And uh, group 3 element boron has uh, 3 electrons and when it combines with fluorine, it gets another 21 electrons giving a total electrons of 24. So when I look at the Lewis structure of BF3, you can see that the central element B has only 6 electrons around it. We don't have any more electron to give it, so it has an incomplete octet. Similar is the case with uh, boron trihydride. It has only 6 electrons around it and boron has incomplete octet, has only 6 electrons. So how do they stable? How do they make themselves stable? One way they stabilize themselves is they form coordinate bond with ammonia. Let's consider a few more examples. Instead of boron, I can consider aluminum hydride and aluminum chloride also. Aluminum hydride, again, has only 6 electrons around it. And then if I draw the Lewis structure of aluminum chloride, that also has only 6 electrons around it. So, aluminum has incomplete octet. So just so similar to the boron hydride, even aluminum can... Uh, Aluminum hydride or aluminum chlorides can form coordinate bond with ammonia. So these uh, group 3 hydrides and halides, how do they stabilize? We said that they form coordinate bond with ammonia and the formation of the coordinate bond is shown there. Ammonia it has an extra lone pair, can give its lone pair to aluminum which that needs it and the bonds thus form is called as the coordinate bond. But there is another way aluminum chloride can stabilize itself that is by two molecules of aluminum chloride can combine and it can form a dimer. The Cl of one of the molecule and, uh, donates its unpaired electron to the aluminum of the second um, um, compound. So we have two molecules of aluminum chloride. One, The Cl of one molecule gives it to the aluminum of the second one. And the Cl of the second one gives two electrons to the aluminum of the first one. And the structure looks as shown there. The Cl, Al, Cl, Al, which is shown in an arrow, is the coordinate bond formed between two molecules of aluminum chloride.